And then he goes on to say, it's all, all Scripture is given by inspiration of God. So all we got to do is find the Scriptures. It's profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction. I hate that one, don't you? Yeah. Uh, instruction in righteousness. Now that's okay. <laughs> that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished into all good works. Here God tells us why He gave the Scriptures, to make us wise unto salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. And it's good for our doctrine, reproof, correction, instruction. Do we actually believe God allowed words to become lost? That's what I'm asking you. If so, how could He use them to accomplish the stated purposes? If He's lost words, how can He use them to do what He said He wanted to accomplish? Now we know we don't have an original. The question is, has God preserved His Word? The original text, although not the original piece of paper, stone, vellum, etc., on which it may have been written. See, I don't need the original pieces of stone Moses used and threw them down and broke them. I don't need to see that. I don't need to glue them back together to see the original. God says, Moses, make another tablet. I'll rewrite it exactly as you had before. Okay? <laughs> Jeremiah 36. Jeremiah has a, an amanuensis. It means he had a scribe, a personal scribe. And Jeremiah is using this scribe. Jeremiah is verbally regurgitating as God gives him the words. And the scribe is writing it down. He writes it down. Jeremiah says, take it and read it to some of the big boys, elders, leaders. He does. They're scared to death because God is laying out uh, to the people why He's upset with them and what He's going to do about it. So eventually they take it to the king, Jehoiakim, the wicked. And it's wintertime, December. He's in front of the fireplace and they're reading it. Every time he hears something he doesn't like, he takes his pen knife and stabs it, rips it up, cuts it up, and throws it in the fire. The original, I've done a study, took me many hours. How much of the book of Jeremiah got burned up there? Roughly 63% of the original Jeremiah. <gasps> oh, Brother Floyd! We don't have the original Jeremiah. What are we going to do? Baruch, the scribe, comes back to Jeremiah and says, Boss, the king burned up almost everything you've said for the last 13 years. I think it was, no, I think it was 23 years. 23 years. What are we going to do? God spoke to Jeremiah and said, Tell him to take out some more paper. And it says, God spoke. They even asked Baruch, how did he do it? Tell us how you got these words. He said, God spoke to Jeremiah. Jeremiah spoke to me and I wrote it down. God says, I'll give you everything you said. Jeremiah hadn't, didn't have it memorized. God is just repeating. Jeremiah does. And God says, and by the way, I'll increase the size of your book. I'm going to give you some more. Go back and read Jeremiah chapter 36. If you want to know how God gave the Bible, error free, that chapter tells you. Okay. Uh, note, in these verses, no reference is being made with regard to the original scriptures. At verse 15, Paul said to Timothy, from a child, you have known the holy scriptures which will make you wise unto salvation. But Paul is not speaking of the original New Testament. 2 Timothy was penned about 65. Timothy was old enough to join Paul and Silas in 53. Thus, when Timothy was a child, there was no New Testament written anywhere yet. 